here he beat Kuro. Oh, yeah, that's big, actually. Yeah. Yes, really big. Kuro, for those of you who don't know who Kuro is, Kuro is uh, number 40 on the Japanese PR, ZSS, uh, one Umabura SP6 double eliminating Kameme. Like, that guy's no joke, and Goblin here was able to take him out. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Greninja and Roy. It's yes, gonna be we, another fast-paced match, I can feel it. Yeah, but it's gonna be like a lot of dash dancing and like kind of managing your spacing, right? Yeah. Because either of these guys, as soon as they go in, well, a little bit more so for uh, for Roy, as soon as they start going in, it's a commitment. Whereas Greninja, like, dash attack is pretty non-committal. Uh, you know, you can land with Nair, it's pretty safe, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, another up smash. Goblin he just searching. grabs him out of the, I think he extended yeah. his hand from the from the jab. So yeah, he's, he's, that grab. he's been searching for that jab this whole time. He's really looking for you know jabs into nares. Uh, jab just sets up for the world. Leia with an opportunity here. Yeah, I love how Leia doesn't just immediately go in for something. He like tries to dash dance first, utilizing Greninja's speed, try to elicit a reaction, and then decides to go for something potentially a bigger punish as well. Got the shield pressure now. He's got Leia in the corner. Oh, trying to get fancy with this uh, side B. A good mix up, but Leia a little bit privy to that. Just air dodging through. That's going to be a mental note for Goblin. Right. So, last trap going to be? Okay, yeah. He tries to go back on the platform. Not quite. Not committing the up B. I like that. Goblin knowing that, you know, Greninja has those win boxes to play with. Might as well just uh, try to get to the ledge as safe as possible. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of bad angles we were talking about yeah, earlier. Right? He, he was so up. focused on trying to get back to center stage that he just kind of got flown to the other side. Yeah. All right. Leia off to a hot start here. Goblin. I mean, this is this is pretty close, right? Because Goblin with one interaction gets Leia into the corner and then gets a jab back air. That's a stock, and that's pretty much even. But 52 already on Goblin. Yeah, Leia just exuberating a lot of control in the. I was so confused for a second. Yeah, that's the tricky stuff. Yeah. Oh, baits out the air dodge, puts him in the corner again. He Just waits. Wait for it. Yeah, he waits for the flare blade or the uh, what is it? The double edge dance. Yeah. And he just does it. Like a lot of people, like when they stand in that situation, they kind of react poorly and then like accidentally like dash into it or something. But he was at the right spacing and he just do forward smash done. Yeah, and I think Goblin was like mashing B to try to get it over with already. Yeah. Leia just waited, reacted. That should be a punish. Ooh, Goblin not able to get there in time. But we've seen this before, honestly. Goblin, uh, sometimes game one he can look, look a little bit shaky, and then he just comes alive game two. And maybe he starts to come alive midway through game one. You never know. Yeah. He's got Leia at 160. That's going to take the stock, that hard up tilt. And now Goblin going to start focusing up. Yeah, that's finally going to do it. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's too little too late on this first game here because Leia's still keeping it calm, got a lot of control. Finally, Goblin gets something going, but the substitution! Wow. Just the parry. Parry right back. Yep. Just went in on that edge guard, too. I mean, Greninja can afford to do it. Great tech, but still. Ooh! Able to spot dodge that grab. Leia now in the corner. He's gonna punish that with the stock. He was at 60. Double-edged dance so, so strong, especially when this Roy's got a little bit of rage. Yeah. That is That's smash. the second time that he has parried a down air. He's so ready for that. Yeah. Very non-committal dare. I like it. Calls out the attempt at taking stage control back with the uh, double jump. And right there, Leia kind of bringing that one back. I, I feel like Leia was losing a lot of the momentum. Yeah that he had gained at the beginning of the game. So I'm glad to see that Goblin's starting to bring this a little bit closer again. I do think that Goblin comes alive uh, kind of midway through it in game one a lot of the time. Uh -huh. Definitely calling it close there, but here we go. Game two, let's see how it goes down. Three, two, one, go! Back to PS2. Right off the bat, Goblin getting some damage. Yeah, already. Okay. Okay, he's okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a little scared for a second. Yeah, finally actually getting like a Nair combo. Like, Goblin didn't get any of those in the first game. And we'll see if he can keep replicating that 51%, nothing to sneeze at, and still hasn't been touched. Looking for the jab. Ooh, able to spot dodge in time. There's the grab. Just keep putting him off stage. You don't need to kill him right now. You just need to get him right there with that jab. As soon as you get the setup, take that stock, and that's a zero to death. Yeah, very clean, very clean. Let's see how Leia tries to respond. 
Not getting too much so far. Now he's got to play a really big catch-up, so. Now Goblin can kind of take it easy, not commit as hard. But he's still trying to go in with those nares. I think he just wants to try and steamroll them. I think you keep the aggression up. I think it's really important to maintain your momentum because sometimes when you switch your play style like that, you just lose everything that you had, and then it's hard to replicate that again. Right. I mean, we were just talking about it. Keep up the momentum. Already putting Leia at 81%, barely getting hit in the second game here. He's only at 18. Goblin is on a tear, dude. There's gonna be a down tilt. Oh, okay, that was a really scary situation. He teched away. That was a free jab back air. Yeah. There's gonna be the re-grab. Try to find the tilt, not quite. And finally, Leia getting in, getting a little bit of damage, but needs more than that. Okay, oh, there's the Nair, fair. Oh, okay. Leia really wanted that stop. Yeah, he, I think really he, was, wanted that I, he was really bagging on the back air hitting so that he could react to the hit stop and then just go in and recover, but since that didn't happen, he was just kind of waiting for it, and then he just decided to SD. Yeah, I mean, the fast fall was, was, was just a little yeah. bit too much. But hey, Goblin, we take those. Goblin's got Leia in the percent. Oh, that was so, so close. He was yeah. just a little bit quicker with that last hit. It's the thing, the issue is that if you go too fast with the last hit, you don't get the strong hit, but if you go too slow, of course, they can do that. Yeah. There's but gonna be the up air. air. Yeah, okay, so that's the thing, is when you're on the platform like that, you can work with that setup, because you can still get the kill. Oh, no. Yeah. And Goblin, I mean, reverse was a three stock. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and we saw what happened. That's what I'm saying. Like, Goblin, like, comes alive in the middle of game one. And then suddenly, like, he just starts playing like a, like a madman. Yeah. So we got to see if Goblin keeps up with the momentum. If Leia can find, like, some kind of wake-up call to answer back. We'll see. They're sticking with Vilgamon seeing him, too. I think both of them like this stage, so. Yeah, I mean, it's a good stage. It's great for Greninja. There's a lot of space to run around, uh, lots of space to continue your combos. Uh, but the same goes for Roy. Like, he really, really likes to kind of carry you across the stage. Those down tilts, he loves to have space to be able to put you towards the ledge with those down tilts. And then, of course, uh, the jab combos that set up into it. Right. All right, got a follow up here. Try to read the position. It was a little bit too ahead of too ahead there. Yeah. And it's interesting, in this matchup in particular, it really feels like being on that platform is such a disadvantageous place, uh, oh, yeah, place to be, terrible. you know? <laughs> like, Greninja can shark you so easily, Roy can shark you so easily, so it's really just a battle of, you know, who's gonna maintain uh, groundedness the most. And now this is Goblin's opportunity to respond, keeping him at the ledge. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and that the second one was strong. Yeah, it, it was curtains. Yeah, one opening, that's all Goblin needed. Lay on the other hand to get to that 110. He had to do like a lot of soft resets. And then returns back to neutral to be able to get that. Going back in again. Takes the fair right there, knows that he doesn't want to stale that back air. Saving it for later. Put it into go box. Got the down tilts. And then he's going to get a tech chase. Oh, okay, that time he was ready for the roll in. That's what he did last time. Yeah. But Leia, smart enough to know that, hey, I did this last time. I got to mix this up. Yeah, and a great awareness from both of them. But. Play ahead of the game there. There's going to be the upward double-edged dance. The last hit just putting Goblin into the stage control position. Now Leia's going to fight his way back in. Down tilt going to send him off stage. Goblin going to look for this jab. Yeah. Both of these two being very careful. Forward throw. Oh, up throw. That's going to kill. PS2, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. That was significantly <laughs> earlier than I expected. Yeah, I forgot that was an option. Goblin was a good air dodge to the ledge. There's the counter. That's going to do it. Yep. Even percent. Stock two. Alrighty, just goes in with up smash, get that guaranteed damage. Just the back air, Leia looking for some more. Not able to find it. I like the babysit though. Putting up. Ah, oh, he had the right read. Oh, That's but it. still catches him, yeah. He might be able to make this. Okay, no, no not, longer. Definitely not now. Now Leia's just in such a great position, up nearly a full stock. Goblin, I mean, we've seen what he can do. I mean, he three-stocked him last game, so there's nobody counting him out of this one yeah. right now. Goes into the up We've seen a lot of that from Goblin today. Yeah, I like how Leia decided to step back a bit, you know, just really thinking about what battles he wants to really go for right now. Oh, oh! He had it, though. He knew exactly what Leia was going to go for. 
the issue was that he was just barely off with the spacing. Yeah. And Leia, uh, I, I think if Leia did the full air dodge, uh, either slightly up and in or uh, full in, but I think Leia did air dodge uh, down and in. Yeah. So that was almost the right option there. Not quite going to find it. You know, like Leia is trying to close out the stocks very soon. Something like an F tilt might do it. Yeah. So many options of Roy's. Seal the stock out. That's 136. Oh, I like that. Gonna be able to tech though. And okay, the wall cling actually kind of screwed him over there. Yeah. I think I think he thought that he was gonna come back down and go and recover, but he just kind of froze there. So yeah, he just kind of got stuck. And then by the time he realized it and tried to come back around, then Goblin was just able to answer to that. And Goblin has so much momentum right now. Leia, if he's like, you know, he's lost himself. You know, he hasn't really found any big hits, any big combos. He hasn't had advantage for a while. Gob Goblin's just kind of going in right now. There's yeah. not a whole lot that Leia can do. Oh, that would have done it. Woo! Down tilt, looking for the hard one to knock him down. One more. Tough spot for both of these players. Jab back air will probably do it at this point. Oh, and Rising Bear, able to get around that. And Goblin, now he's definitely searching for this jab. Let's move forward air. Got to prioritize keeping stage control, though. Stage control is going to give you more opportunities. And now Goblin's off stage. He took his jump. Yes. That's it. As soon as he's done, yeah. yeah. That's all it needs. Man, you could okay. One, you could you could feel the sigh of relief from Leia, and two, you can feel the frustration from Goblin. Yeah, and I mean Goblin had that game in the bag at the end there. He was really moving. Uh, th there there was not a lot that Leia was bringing to the table, but all that matters is that Leia won that last interaction. Yeah. So as soon as he was able to catch that jump, great cognizance from him to throw that out, thinking maybe Goblin wants to recover, just maybe a little bit lazy. He had been going uh, higher for most of the game, so. Uh, Great stuff to Leia for capitalizing on that. Starting off this one, Leia able to get a quick 30. Putting on some more. Goes into the up air. Not able to get the fair. Spacing out. I like that Leia is now willing to play this slower game. Look at the pace that's being set right now. It's yeah. totally slowing down, and Goblin just has not really been able to find his footing. Right, now he's got the potential out of juggle. Yeah, he just waits. He's doing a much better job of uh, retaining a soft reset situation and then extending off of that. And he's playing very reactionary, you know? He's not throwing out any options that he knows are going to overcommit, except for that right there. Yeah. I think that at that point it was like, okay, I might as well try and take the stock yeah. down, mixing up his tempo. And he doesn't a lose bit. a whole lot for doing that. Yeah. Well, let's see. Goblin potentially with a response here. Actually, never mind. There. Ooh, Ooh, that was just barely not killing. Yeah, very nice SDI, uh, either SDI or just regular DI from Goblin. But, you know, just one burst option into a fair, that's going to do it too. Yeah, as soon as he committed with the up B, that was just curtains for that stock. There's me in there. Let's lay it off stage. Yeah, just control the ledge here. And again, as long as he's got the control here, he has more and more opportunities to take the stock. There's going to be a back air, strong hit, not enough though. Leia, knowing that he's searching for that jab, not going to normal get up into him this time. A lot of things will do it right now. He can get jab into up air. How does he get in? Ooh. He does it. All right. Oh. Opportunity. Oh. I don't know what that was. I feel like he meant to do up air. He just like kind of input too quickly. Yeah, There's the jab. There's the up air, and that's going to take the stop. Mm -hmm. right, Goblin not too far behind. He's got the inv invincibility. Let's see what he does with it. Here's the thing. Goblin, neutral. yeah, as soon as soon as Lei came down with the invincibility, notice that Goblin did not go to ledge. Yeah. He, he said, I, I want to keep the stage control. I'm fighting it for it. I will yeah. use my movement defensively yes. instead of trying to hold shield or trying to go to ledge. Okay, four throw him off. No edge guard. Just going to directional air dodge through. But still, keeping up that center stage control. Really great on Goblin to save that directional air dodge for when Lei had committed offstage yeah. instead of uh, earlier on. Because if he did it too early, Lei potentially could have gone through the up B. Yeah, Ooh. just reacted to it instead or something. Yep. Ah, try to... He had the right idea. Try to make Goblin think that he could get control back and right. then just hit him off again. Reset the situation. Not quite there, though. That was super, super scary. Yeah. Really close to losing that one. There's going to be a down tilt. And Goblin just uses that opportunity to take stage. Down air out of shield. I, I like the possibility of Terry footstool. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just off the mark for Leia. Leia playing super patient again. 
Goblin. Okay, reset one more time, and he does it! That's what I'm talking about. That time he actually goes out and gets it. Because the past few times, you know, he has been rotating through mix-ups, and it, at a certain point it becomes not a mix-up. Because yeah. if you're doing the same mix-ups in a row each time, you know, he knows which way you're going to roll now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, took, took him three times, but he finally was able to find it. There's going to be the down tilt in the forward air. Not enough just yet. Could be a big edge guard. Great drift back from Goblin. That's going to be just a down tilt. Takes advantage and going to get a couple more percent as well. Yeah. Four tilt in the wrong direction, but there we go. Leia with an opportunity. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep. Yeah. All right, man. Even stocks. This is Leia's opportunity. 66%. <laughs> Just run up and Jab do back it. air, not enough. Very, very close though. Leo with a second opportunity at life here. Guess that jabs. Whoa, whoa scary. Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, that's, whoa, 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 whoa. that's scary. Gets yeah. Greninja. Goblin, it seems like Goblin's kind of panicking a little bit. He's looking for this kill. He wants it so bad, but he doesn't want to overcommit too much here. Yeah, I mean, there's already been like a five minute game so far, so. This, the patience has got to be running out for either of these two. It's like having to stay focused for that long and definitely be tolling on the brain. Goblin is committing his double jump super, super early. I'm kind of scared for him if he gets hit off stage. Yeah. He's choosing these defensive options without reacting. He's kind of just like letting Leia set the pace that's and he gets the jab back here. And that's the important thing. Just like game two where Leia took the game or uh, game one where Leia took the game based off of, uh, you know, the momentum kind of starting to swing the other direction, and then he wins that one interaction. Goblin yeah. does the same right back to him in game four. And now we've got a game five. Oh, man. This is a, this is a tough one to call. Where is he going? <laughs> Probably just taking a break, do a quick gotta, momentum cancel. He's, he's going to go grab a water. Yeah. But hey, man, this is a dope set. This is what I want to see for our top, well, qual this is the qualifier for the top eight qualifier. Uh, winner of this, of course, plays to buzz. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be a hard one for either of these guys, but they both want their shot. That's the important thing. Yes. Leia. Stoic as always. Look at this guy. Studying. He's, I think he's looking at the stage list, actually. Goblin coming back with his water. Yeah. Look at that water. Oh, he downed the whole thing on the way here. Yeah. Impressive, you, impressive how, showing yeah, from yeah, Goblin on the, how, on the water. That's how you drinking. do it, man. That's how you do it. Yeah. All right, we're back in it. I'm expecting PS2 again. These guys don't go anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I don't know I don't what they, really I didn't see what they else, what they yeah. chose, but I'm expecting PS2 again. These guys are just running it back. Three, two, one, go! Here we are in game five. These guys have been going back and forth with Jesus. some momentum, but that's a big opener for Goblin. That's a huge opener for Goblin. Getting close to a zero to death, similar to what we saw game three. Yeah, there's something in the water, man. <laughs> he just powered himself up. Opportunity for Leia here at the ledge. He's not finding the right like positioning to be able to do whatever he wants. Goblin's just so menacing when he has that stage control, and he's upbeating it with like perfect timing. Yeah. Very. I mean, he he has upbeat quite a few times where he's being punished for it on stage, right? Uh -huh. uh, but the important thing is like probably you know seven out of ten times he's hitting it, so uh -huh. that's the important thing, right? Yeah. Like risk reward. Right. And if he's not at high percent, he doesn't get punished too hard. Great parry. He yeah, he's really looking for that jab, but he, you know he's gonna listen that pressure without too much of a punish. But there we go. Yeah, dash attack into forward air. He held straight in on that forward air too. Yeah. Big right. opportunity. Whoa, he's really putting on the damage now. I'm goblin. I'm a little bit scared. He's kind of losing the momentum. And look at Lay. He's dashing back. He's whip punishing a little bit more, expecting goblin to push his uh, disadvantage into an advantage state. Yeah. Really good at calling out when he's going to dash in, trying to get something. The Goblin doing the same thing. He's giving them the space, and as soon as he occupies the space, he's kind of backing off, ready to punish with whatever he needs to. Yeah. How does he get back? Okay, yeah, just slides himself in there. There's going to be a forward air. It's a big opportunity for Goblin now to take this stock. Yeah. Try to meet him up there. Not quite. How does he get off the ledge? There, that's going to do it. Yeah. All right. Even stocks. Game five. Both these guys sitting under pressure. Goblin now, he's got a little bit more momentum under his belt. Leia trying to find that again. If Leia can get this kill here, this is huge. Yeah. 
Oh, but Goblin's putting on the percent. This is yeah, this is what I'm scared of, right? Like the now now Goblin gets the lead traps going. That death, okay, he got the soft hit. Yeah. Not quite gonna work out. But still, ah, yeah, he's just keeping up this less trap so strongly. Whoa, okay, the double shadow sneak. Goblin not ready for that one. I don't think anyone was ready for that one. The whole audience is kind of in awe of that. Goblin really just one hit away, as is Lei, depending on the hit. Greninja just has to work a little bit harder here, but that's the jab back air. And now, Goblin, up a stock, was looking pretty grim for him at the beginning of this one, but now he's brought it all the way back. 100% though. Mm -hmm. Oh, the great parry on that forward air. Let's see if Leia actually tries to bring this back to a last stock situation, but looks like having a little bit of difficulty. Yeah, falling through the platform is crucial there because he wasn't going to be able to get the sweet spot up smash if he did. Yeah. Thought he could get that up smash. Oh my god! He knew! He knew! Big parry? No. He's looking for yeah. that footstool. It's, it's not quite happening. It's unfortunate. He has the right idea, but not quite. Oh. oh, he tried to do it again, but he hit the ledge this time. That was like a perfect air dodge from Leia. Just not committing anything. He almost had the up B on him as well, but Goblin. Yeah, he's got the quick. wind in his sails. <gasps> That's it. Yep, that is it. Alrighty. Now, is that what's going to take the wind out of Goblin's sails? Leia, 71%. All he needs is a couple of hits. Probably like three interactions total if he wins those. It's about an even game. The issue is that Goblin is just so good at playing defensively and so good at ledge trapping. As soon as he takes that advantage, that's where it becomes an issue. But now he's taking this percent. Yeah, big opportunity. No double jump. He's able to make it back to the ground. He's just fine. And yeah, Leia just doesn't pick any battles there. Just tries to return back. But he's got losing a little bit of stage control here. How does he get out of the ledge? Just simple roll in. He rolled in for the first time this whole game right yeah. there. Scary situation. Both of them, they know They're that. Scrambling. Yeah, a lot of these options are so safe. But there we go. The drag down. Resets the situation. Tries to catch him on the platform. Not quite. Woo! Okay, taking place this time. Goblin so close. He just needs to take this advantage. And Leia, just that one hit. Is that it? That's a fair. Another opportunity. Tries to go for the edge guard. He's still got the ledge control, though. <gasps> oh, that F tilt could have done it. Oh my god, but a back air puts him off stage. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, he had it! He didn't react to getting the first hit fair. He might pay for that with a stock. The ledge Trump, Trump back, back air. air! Is that gonna be it? That's gonna be it! Leia takes a game five with a ledge Trump bear the first time he goes for a ledge Trump and gets the bear. He manages to do it game five last stock. What a great mix up from Leia. Oh my goodness. An yeah, intense attack. The whole crowd is watching that. No one's looking at the other stream right now. It's yeah. important it, to know it, that everyone was watching that. <laughs> if that ledge trump did not work, that, I'm pretty sure that was the game. Like, it, it might have been, You just yeah. kind of bet it all on that. Yeah, that's that's a rough situation. And I mean, like, if you're Goblin, you're just like, oh, it, it was this close. It was one interaction. And he hit the falling there. He just didn't react. All he needed to do was up tilt. That was it. <sighs> that's rough. That's <laughs> that rough. is rough. Very rough. rough. He just didn't, it didn't believe, man. He didn't it, believe. No, he didn't believe. And that's it. But, like... You know, obviously, very tight situation. Yeah. It's hard in that moment to really be that reactionary, you know, because your heart's beating, you know, your your brain is thinking about, I'm about to win, I'm about to win, I'm about to beat this guy. Yeah. And then everything just kind of falls apart in front of you a lot of the time. So <sighs> it, 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 it's hard, but, the, you know, the heart of the champion will prevail, you know? Come back stronger next time, that kind of thing. But Leia, dude, Leia. Managed to stay clutch in that situation. Like, who goes for a Trump bear right there? I don't After know. After the dude. whole set, you haven't even tried to do anything like that. That's impressive. Really impressive from Leia. Definitely works out in his favor there. Yes.